Come on in, guys. Bill Tribe, how we doing? Good. 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 Good to see all of you. It's day number six. Mm hmm. All right. Just checking on you guys. Just asking. Oh, we're just fine. seeing how you are. Oh, you're so concerned. Yeah. I feel like there's people missing from here. Bill Tribe, getting your first look at the new Alexa Tribe. Gabby voted out at the last Tribal Council. We'll now bring in Andrew and Lily returning from Exile Island. Good morning, Andrew. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Lily. Back, Andrew. 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 We missed you. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> All right. You guys ready to get to today's next twist of the season? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. We had you pegged. <laughs> yep. Tonight, Maybe. Maybe. You will not be competing for immunity, but you will be completing a little activity before we begin there will be no communicating with any castaways until this activity is over for today's activity each person will vote for someone on their own tribe you will submit your vote privately to one of the hosts your vote in the exact vote count will not be revealed you are casting this vote in total secrecy what the vote is for you will not get to know so should you vote for your closest ally? Or should you vote for someone you'd rather see go? Should you vote for your tribe's strongest member? Or maybe somebody who makes you nervous? That is completely up to you. You have a big decision to make, and I'll give you a few moments to think about what you're going to do. All right, the votes are in. The person who received the most votes from the Alexa tribe is Connor. The person who received the most votes from the Phil tribe is Lauren. Connor, how are you feeling about receiving the most votes from your tribe? I am genuinely surprised. I did not expect that. That's good not... feeling, good feeling, bad feeling, no feeling. Well, I don't know what it is, so I guess we'll find out how I feel about it. <laughs> Lauren, why do you think your tribe voted for you? I was sitting on XL for a good two days and didn't have that much time to really talk to that many people. They went to a tribal without me, so they have their own little dynamics going on. So maybe that's why I got some votes. I mean, Lily was only gone for a day. I was gone much longer, so that might be why I got votes thrown my way. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Well, with that... Are you guys ready to, to know what this is all about? Sure. Yeah, lay it on us again. Well, everyone, drop your buffs. We are switching tribes. Oh, Connor, man. you are the Alexa tribe captain. And Lauren, you are the Phil tribe captain. <laughs> Here's how it's going to work. Connor, you will select someone from the Phil tribe. Lauren, you will then select someone from the Alexa tribe. The person you select will choose the next member of the tribe and so on and so forth. Keep in mind that a Phil tribe member must always select an Alexa tribe member and an Alexa tribe member must always select a Phil member. All right, so Connor, you are choosing somebody from the Phil tribe. Give me Mike. Lauren, you are selecting someone from the Alexa tribe. I'm going to take Austin. Mike, you Mike. are selecting someone from the Alexa tribe. Uh, let's go Michael. Austin, you are picking somebody from the Phil tribe. Give me, give me Greg. Michael, you are picking somebody from the Phil tribe. Go with Alex. Greg, you are picking somebody from the Alexa tribe. Um, I'll take Mackenzie, please. Thanks. 
All right, Alex, you are picking somebody from the Alexa tribe. Let's go with Coach. Andrew. All right, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Mackenzie, you are selecting somebody from the Phil tribe. Shoot, I haven't even looked. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Victoria. Andrew, you are selecting somebody from the Phil tribe. How many do we have left? Got Lily or Bill? I'll take Lily. Uh, Victoria, you are choosing somebody from the Alexa tribe. Um, who's left? Uh, you have John Jim or, or John? Um, I'll take Jim. All right. And so John will be on the Alexa tribe. And Bill will be on the Phil tribe. All right. The new Phil tribe is Lauren, Austin, Greg, Mackenzie, Victoria, Jim, and Bill. The new Alexa tribe is Connor, Mike, Michael, Alex, Andrew, Lily, and John. No one is going to Exile Island tonight. There is no challenge tonight. Use this time to get to know your new tribe members and prepare for tomorrow night's immunity challenge at nine o'clock. We'll see you then. Good night. So as I kind of predicted, we did get swapped. There's good and bad. The good news is I'm with Mike and Lily from my old tribe and they're two of my closest allies. I feel really comfortable with them. It's a tight three. I don't think we're gonna turn on each other. We shouldn't turn on each other. Problem is, on paper, now we are in the minority. It's four to three. However, I think we got some things going for us. A, it seems like Andrew's really on the outs, and Andrew and Lily bonded a lot in exile. Lily says they're good. So Andrew, could, I think, totally could flip. We could totally get them on our side. People, I always call it Navidi Strong because that was like a, a running thing for Ghost Island. I understand that um, that rationale, and to a certain extent, I, I, I would even say I agree with it, um, so in the event we were to lose a challenge between now and the next time something changes the game, um, as of now, I feel like we would pick off one of the former Phil tribe members first, but as we continue to, let, let's say we go on a, a hot streak and we win like three in a row, I feel like the tribe will become more fluid at that point. And people won't necessarily try to stick with old tribal lines. They'll try to stick with people who they feel comfortable with. And apparently Connor's really paranoid and untrustworthy. I don't know. It's hard to tell exactly the relationship between the three guys. Connor has talked to us. About, he's already started talking to us about um, we need to make the other three feel comfortable. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah we need to make them feel comfortable, whatever. Um but I don't want to come off as disingenuine by doing that um, because, you know, in the event that we do end up, you know, having to go, I don't want them to just think they're, it's going to be one of them because in my head, it might not be one of them. I bet John and Michael are close. Um, but I think with Connor's par so, supposedly paranoia and Andrew not really having top game with these guys, I think we can definitely get something going here should we lose. We had a little tribe meeting and it was, it wasn't even a tribe meeting. It was a little alliance meeting with myself, Lauren, Alex, and Greg. And we thought it might've been some kind of list, list the tribe members. And we came up with a list with Lily at the beginning and Lauren at the end. And, you know, when we, when the, the time came to write down one name, I just thought everyone else was going to go with Lily because she was the first one we discussed to put at the top. That's really the only thought I put into it. I didn't know what it was going to be for. So was I surprised Lauren was picked a little bit? Yeah. But when I think about it, Lily probably put Lauren. Bill probably put Lauren. Victoria probably put Lauren. And then uh, maybe someone, I guess someone else then too. I'm not sure. Uh, so I was a little bit surprised to see Lauren. So Mike, Alex, and I were able to meet right before the challenge yesterday to kind of catch up on how we were all feeling with everybody from the old Alexa tribe, who's now part of our new Alexa tribe. So 
I, each of us met with John, and what was interesting was that John mentioned to both Alex and Mike that they're all big threats and they need to stick together. And I feel like we are of a similar threat level, which means yeah. it's very advantageous for us to work, to work together. together. So like, I want to be playing with like people who have shown themselves to be threats. I want to be playing with people like, I mean, I'm not going to lie, the Alexa tribe immediately picked out you and Mike as threats. Which gives off the impression that if we had to go to a vote, he would probably want to vote me out because he doesn't see me as a threat. Yeah. yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. And I feel like I went into my monologue on Exile about this, but I f it's frustrating to... I think I come off as ditzy because I ask dumb questions, but I think that I might be more aware than a lot of people feel, so I'm trying not to hold that against John because he only had a brief conversation with me and he has to target someone, and so he might think I'm the easy person to target. We all did a group Zoom together after, and honestly, it was a lot more lively than any of the group Zooms that we had with the original Phil tribe. We got on the Zoom and I read Morgan's message I didn't read it fully because I don't want to be on my phone when I'm on a Zoom. I want to act like I'm paying attention to people because that's what you're supposed to do. Otherwise, they think you're up to something. Then Victoria says, does anyone think Morgan's thing means anything? I said nothing of it because I just wanted to fluff it away because I don't think she has experience with being able to find things. Once we got off the call, I went and read the message. That's what it looks like. So there's messed up letters there. The messed up letters and the missing letters spell out the word math. I sent that in immediately, immediately to Ian. And I was like, math, sent it in. I got something back from Ian. And this is what I got back from him. Congratulations, you are one step closer to safety. Take the number of puzzle pieces from the second immunity challenge puzzle, plus the number of letters from the first immunity challenge word scramble, plus the total number of votes cast up to this point. Then divide by the total number of women who have been to Exile Island. Well, I read that and he said, problem. I don't remember how many freaking puzzle pieces there were. I was not paying attention that much. And the other issue, I couldn't even remember what the freaking phrase was for winning that first immunity challenge. So right there, I'm like, shit, I am screwed. But my guy, Greg... I reached out to him and I just <laughs> casually asked him, I was like, hey, do you know what the phrase was for winning immunity? Because I just needed the number of letters. And he told me what the phrase was. So then it was 23. So I had the 23. And then I also asked him, do you remember how many puzzle pieces? He told me 104. So I had the 23, the 104, and then votes cast up to this point the actual votes cast so far have been 14 so you have 23 plus 104 plus 14 divided by three gives you 47 sent in the 47 bingo thought that was going to be it wrong of course then i got another clue from ian that said congratulations you have unlocked the final step to acquire what you seek, answer the following question. Which survivor player was pictured in the jigsaw puzzle from the second immunity challenge? And so then I asked Greg, Greg, can you remember the image? Because I couldn't remember it at all. I wasn't on the puzzle. I was looking at it while they were doing it, but I wasn't intently paying attention. He came up with John Mitch. And I sent that in and bingo, that was the answer. I was with Greg the whole time. Greg knows I have it. I'm fine that he knows I have it. I wouldn't have been able to find it without him. I needed him to be able to get it. Although I do still miss them all. Um, kind of sucks that Lily, Mike, and Alex, who are, are three people I've worked with very closely, are all in the other tribe. And honestly, I kind of wish, in a way, all three of them were over here. I'm happy that... Lauren and I are tight and she very much trusts me. So I'm going to continue trusting her. I think she's about to tell me about something. I'm glad that I spoke to Victoria one-on-one -on -one today. I'm very glad about that. Even though she thought we were in this newbies alliance, which wasn't real, it's going to have to be real. I'm happy to be working with Bill too, because apparently Bill said that 
he had me as his number one, which makes me feel good. If they were to win and send one of us to exile, I would prefer certainly that it be one of old Alexa, because that just just locks our majority. Um, if it were to be one of us that was chosen, one of old Phil, I wouldn't mind it being me, uh, just for the safety portion. <laughs> or I think Greg, who is my guy in this, um, but that would bring us to 3-3, three, three. and quite frankly, um, I would go to rocks, but in a 3-3, three, three, um, no way I'd flip my boat, and I would definitely go to rocks. It'd be fun. I was worried that Bill might take it hard still that I didn't tell him about the vote out of Will. I think this phase of the game is to build relationships because those are important with the new Alexa people, but get rid of the original Alexa people too. Still in Alexa tribe. How are we doing? Day number seven. Great. I see, uh, Good. Excellent. I see quite the change in uh, colors now. I don't see everyone wearing their tribe colors. Interesting. All right. You guys ready to get to today's immunity challenge? Yep. Let's get yeah. it. Uh. For today's challenge, four members from each tribe will answer survivor trivia questions, while the other three tribe members will balance a stack of solo cups. One member from each tribe will face off against each other. For each incorrect answer, the opposing tribe will select one of the cup balancers to add a cup to their stack. The last cup balancer standing wins immunity for their tribe. Losers will have tribal council where someone will become the third person voted out of this game. In addition to immunity, you are also playing for an individual reward we have a sponsor for this challenge. Here to talk about it is our producer, McKenna Feeney. Hi friends. Um, so Survivor Game Show Network is sponsoring this challenge. As one of the co-founders of SGSN, I wanted to personally provide a reward for the winning tribe. Want to know what you're playing for? Yes. 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 Yeah. The tribe that wins immunity gets a total of $40, 20 going to the person that gets the most questions correct, and 20 to the person who balances the most cups. So each trivia person has an equal opportunity as well as the cups. All right, on trivia for the Phil tribe, we have in order Lauren, Bill, Mackenzie, and Greg. Balancing cups is Austin, Victoria, and Jim. For the Alexa tribe, doing trivia, we have Andrew, Alex, Michael, and John. And balancing cups, we have Connor, Mike, and Lily. All right, let's get things started. Our first matchup is Andrew and Lauren. So this first question is for you. Who was the winner of Survivor Season 6? Reveal in three, two, one. Yep, Jenna Maraska is correct. Nobody adds cups. All right, our next matchup is Alex and Bill. What is the last season to feature a final two. The last season to feature a final two. You can give me the name of the season or the number of the season. All right, three, two, one, reveal. Kagiyan is the correct answer. Bill is incorrect. 
which means Alex, you get to choose either Austin, Victoria, or Jim to add a cup to. Um, we'll go Victoria. All right, Victoria, go ahead and grab your next cup. Going to add to the bottom. Three, two, one, you're good. Okay. All right, Victoria makes the transition very well. Our next matchup is Michael and Mackenzie. All right, there have been six seasons to feature an all-female final tribal council. Name three of those seasons. Again, we will take season name or season number. All right, three, two, one, reveal. Uh, all right, Michael says Pearl Island, San Juan del Sur, and One World. That is a correct answer. Mackenzie says One World, Micronesia, and San Juan del Sur. Also a correct answer. No cups are added. All right, our next matchup is John and Greg. Here's your question. There have been five winners to receive a unanimous vote at the final tribal council. Name three of these five. You guys are showing your trivia knowledge so far. All right, three, two, one, reveal. All right, we have Earl, JT, and Adam. That is a correct answer from John. Greg says Adam, JT, and Cochran. That is also a correct answer. All right, nice job. Next up, we have Andrew and Lauren. Here's your question. Name the three seasons in which a rock draw occurred. Three, two, one, reveal. All right, Lauren says, Marquesas, Blood vs. Water, Millennials vs. Gen X. That is correct. And Ander says Blood vs. Water, 33, which is Millennials vs. Gen X, and 4, which is Marquesas. Also a correct answer. Nice job. All right, our next matchup is Alex and Bill. Your question is, who was the winner of season? Mike Survivor? drops his cups. Mike is out oh. of the challenge. Mike will have a seat. All right, Alexa Tribe down to two cup stackers. All right, Alex and Bill, your question is, who was the winner of Survivor season 18? All right, three, two, one, reveal. JT is the correct answer. Both are correct. All right, Michael and Mackenzie. Lily drops her cups. The Alexa tribe is down to only Connor. I'm sorry, guys. Go Connor. All good, Lily, all good. You got it, Connor. <clears throat> Keep it up, guys. I'm gonna be with, I'm only gonna be at two cups for a while, so I'm, I'm chilling. All right. Famous last words. Michael and Mackenzie, who was the first person to successfully negate votes with a hidden immunity idol? Five seconds. All right, three, two, one, reveal. Oh my God, I'm right? Do, but does your say Yao Man, Mackenzie? It does, it does. It's spelled so wrong, but it definitely says Yao Man. All right, Mackenzie and Michael are correct. Yes. It is Yao Man. <laughs> nice job. I can't All right, John and Greg, here's your question. Name five people who have made it to the final tribal council twice. Connor is looking to play the hero role here, but as we've seen, People can drop cups at the drop of a hat. Three, two, one, reveal. 
Michelle, Amanda, Russell, Hans, Parvati, Sandra, John is correct. Greg says Amanda, Russell, Sandra, Parvati, and Tony also correct. Nicely done. All right, Andrew and Lauren. Name seven winners who have only played one time. All right, three, two, one, reveal. All right, Lauren says Vesepia, Mike, Jenna is incorrect. Lauren is wrong. Vesepia, Brian, Chris, Chris, Earl, Tommy, and Natalie. W. Uh, you're you're <laughs> Natalie, good, Andrew? Yeah, Natalie White, Natalie White. Okay, that is correct. All right, so Andrew, you get to pick somebody from between Austin, Victoria, and Jim to add a cup to. Victoria, please. Victoria, grab your next cup. When you put your right hand on that green cup, I'm gonna count you in. Three, two, one. Victoria is good. Good job, Victoria. All right, our next matchup is Alex and Bill. Name three seasons with all male final tribal councils. Three, two, one, reveal. Alex says Thailand, Cagayan, and Nicaragua. That is a correct answer. Bill, can you hold yours a little closer, please? Token jeans and looks like he couldn't come up with three. Bill is wrong. So Alex, you get to add a cup to Austin, Victoria, or Jim. Go Austin. Austin's gonna grab his third cup. Go Connor, you can do it, boy. My it's very lopsided right now. So wait, when I add a new one, can Austin I Austin can't make the transition. Austin is out. You cannot down, adjust your cups, Victoria Connor. And Jim. Yes, Connor, you cannot adjust your cups. Hold cup. strong, buddy. Hold strong. Well, better keep getting the questions correct because... That's the plan. You got it, Jim. All you right. Up, Jim and Victoria. Our next hey, matchup Victoria. is Michael and Mackenzie. Who is the winner of season 25? You got Did it. Three... Two, one, reveal. Denise is the correct answer. Mackenzie has an incorrect answer. Michael, you get to choose Austin, Victoria, or Jim. Let's put it on Jim. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, just <clears throat> Jim is going to add his third cup. Jim's cup, top cup, is shaking as he goes to grab his third cup. When Jim's right hand goes to the bottom cup, I will count him in. Jim's cups are shaking. Five. Jim can't make the transition. Connor versus Victoria now. Hang in there, Connor. We got it. What the All hell? right. Our next matchup is John and Greg. Who is the first person in Survivor history to win individual immunity? When this challenge occurred, Connor was not born. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, reveal. Both are incorrect. The correct answer is Greg Buis. Oh. Hey, All right. So both of you, Connor and Victoria, at the same time, you're going to do this. I'm going to give you, I'm going to count to 10, and then I'm going to count to three. <laughs> Victoria yes. drop. Let's go. The Alexa tribe wins immunity. Let's go, Connor. Connor. Good job, Victoria. Wow. Good job, Victoria. Good job, Victoria. Now, the way this is going to work now, Coach Alex and Michael, you will all answer each question. Just 
questions will go by quicker. The last one standing will win the other half of the reward. Alexa Tribe, you have won immunity. Safe from tomorrow night's Tribal Council. So for Alex, Coach, and Michael, here is your question. Rob and Amber are two survivors who ended up marrying each other. Excluding Blood versus Water and Rob and Amber, name two other married couples where both people played Survivor before they were married. Three, two, one, reveal. Uh, Ethan and Jenna is incorrect, Alex, but Keith and Whitney is. Um, Jamie and Eric is correct. I don't know. Oh, wait, you said on the same season? Or you no. said, oh, because Alex Bell and Kim yeah, Powers. Yeah, and Kim Powers. Okay, uh, we have confirmation that they're married from Andrew. And uh, Andrew. Coach, you're good. Yeah. Okay. So, Alex, you got that question wrong. You're out of the running. Sorry, but great job. Next question. Which survivor has received the most votes against them in their survivor career? All right. Three, two, one, reveal. Andrea Belkey is the Crown Circle is our winner job, of Mike. individual reward. Way Congratulations. Way to go. Nicely done. All right, so congratulations, Connor and Michael. You each have received $20. And congratulations, Alexa Tribe. All right, so the Alexa Tribe, you know what this means. You have one immunity. You are safe from tomorrow night's Tribal Council. As a tribe, you must choose a single member from the Phil Tribe to go to Exile Island where that person will then choose someone from your tribe to join them. I will give you a moment to think about it. How does everyone feel about Lauren or Mackenzie? If and we send Lauren, then it's 3-3 three, three and they have to figure it out. Exactly. Right? They're going to have to they have figure it out or they go to rocks. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And this then one. We're all I just want to make it as hard for them as possible. You know yeah, what I mean? I, to make a decision. Yeah. So whatever think you guys think. It forces I, their, I, their hand to be a 3-3. There's got to be someone to flip in that group. Make them draw a line. This way we also, if there is an advantage on exile, we limit it to Lauren having it. Go ahead and choose the member from the Phil tribe to go to Exile Island. Uh, on behalf of the Alexa tribe, uh, I'm going to say we just choose... Lauren to go to Exile Island. Uh. Lauren, you are going to Exile Island. You must now choose a member of the Alexa tribe to join you, keeping in mind that you cannot select Andrew or Lily who were just on Exile Island. Mike, let's go. Which Mike? Mike Simmons. Okay. Mike, you will be joining Lauren on Exile Island. However, you will be returning to your tribe on Saturday, on our off day, Saturday night, instead of Sunday when we have our next immunity challenge. Being that you are in new tribes, it only seemed fair to not let you spend 72 hours apart. So you will return on Saturday night. All right. Bye, Mike. Bill Tribe, Bye. we will see you tomorrow night at Tribal Council, where someone will be the third person voted out of this game. Hell to the yeah, man. Coming back, winning that immunity challenge was a freaking great feeling. I mean, we were down, we weren't out. We lost a couple of our cup stackers right early on but we had full confidence in our trivia people, myself included, that we were just gonna keep rattling off correct answers and that's basically what we did. It was definitely a great feeling to come out on top of the individual portion of the immunity challenge, being the person to get the most trivia questions correct and win the reward of uh, $20. I was thinking mid-challenge if I should go for it or not, you know, just to kind of help lower my threat level a little bit, but I figured, you know what, it's trivia. 
uh, it, it doesn't really play a role in, in how I might be viewed physically, strategically, uh, and, and I don't think it would impact my social standing in the game thus far. So I figured, you know what, while I have the chance to win a little extra money, why not go for it? Um, it was all in good fun. Uh, I know between myself, Andrew, and Alex, we had a great time just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. I, I mean, me, Alex, and Lily are staying three strong. Love that. We're doing the bet. We talked right before the challenge kind of told everybody what we or kind of told each other what we're thinking or what we found out from everybody and you know it's tough because they could be telling us anything right so there's no action yet but we bought ourselves some more time and that's all we could really ask for here so am I positive we're good no not at all but I think so which is tough to say but yeah, I like didn't want to pull you away so you could talk to other people, but at the same time, we have to like collaborate. Well, and the and the thing is, I I trust Lily and Alex enough where they're gonna talk to Andrew. They're gonna I'll be good with those two, and then and hopefully they can wheel someone in and we'll be all right. I mean, that's that's what I can hope for. Think about if us five can make it to the merge. Like we already talked about it, like as our as our three, like we're one hundred percent. If you guys are there, we're we're right back. Like, oh no, I got the feeling that no one else in this game has that type of relationship. Yeah, Greg and I talked about it. We're we're trying to get back to you guys. That's what we want. I mean, Austin, he is of the three long term, probably the biggest threat. But we're not talking long term. I but I do agree with the, that assessment. Yeah, but the fact that he has said nothing, apparently, to any of us probably means he has something or means he's playing a big brain game and just mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to... <laughs> Maybe it, it, it could be in his mind that he's, like, if I don't talk to them, they're going to think that I have the idol, even though I don't. Exactly, exactly. Going so big that, brain. But honestly... So I, don't, in, I don't know if we go with the risk of that... <laughs> I agree. Right. And I honestly, I want Austin to draw a rock. So I don't want to vote for him. <laughs> I was going to say, if one of us goes, your best chance might still be with Jim. So now we're at a pretty much a 3-3 three, three standpoint. Um, so not really sure what we're going to do yet. Um, I've talked to them. I, I was thinking about flipping. But thinking about it, Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Mackenzie. I want to work with Greg really badly, but at the same time, I do not want to be even further in the minority for a really long time. So I have a crazy plan. I want Bill gone. If we put our votes on Bill and no one's willing to flip, then Bill is the only person who's safe. And I'm like, mm, I don't really like that idea of Bill being safe. So instead, I'm gonna get my tribe mates to vote for Greg because then Greg will be the only one safe from the former Phil tribe when we draw rocks. He won't have to draw rocks. He'll have immunity, essentially. I am going to try and get Greg to get his people to vote for me. And if they vote for me, and they vote for Greg, then we both are safe. But nobody will know we're working together, and I'll not owe anybody shit. I would also be willing to consider them voting for Austin, but I don't want them to vote for Jim, because Jim is my most disposable member of my most disposable number if he leaves it's not the end of the world but i don't want to just give him up that easily because otherwise me and austin are just so fucked from the bottom and i i do do not give a single hoot if she goes home tonight but if it's like if if jim is here after this i think both of you probably have a better shot to work with jim since i think austin has his mind made up on who he wants to play this game with. And I get the sense that it's neither of the three here. of us. It's a big risk, but at this point, I don't see another way out. So the only thing that bugged me about it a little bit was it's when I was waiting on my call, waiting on to get on my call with Mackenzie, it said that there was another person in a meeting. So she could be blowing major smoke and I could be stupid enough to fall for it. But at this point, we landed ourselves in this situation. We just gotta dig ourselves out. I am trying to see 
if there's any way to try to get out of this potential rock draw situation and actually create an opportunity out of it, because this would be a good opportunity to get out one of the bigger threads instead. Um, but I just have to decide whether I feel comfortable to take that kind of risk. Well, hello, Phil Tribe. Go How on. are we doing tonight? Good. All good. Yep. All good? All good. All good. You could say good. I think so. Phil Tribe, welcome to Tribal Council, a place where nobody likes to be, but it is an essential part of the game. The challenge was tough, but Victoria, I would say you were probably the MVP of the tribe uh, yep. last night. You did awesome stacking the cups. You were about to add a fifth cup before you finally dropped. How did you feel about the challenge? Um, I don't want to hear the sound of plastic cups about to fall again, but um, yeah, I, I guess I wish that I could have waited a few seconds so the other side would have dropped, but I can't do too much. Austin, how did you guys decide who would do trivia and who would do the cup stacking? Um, based on, I think, like who had more of like a little bit of a survivor knowledge was obviously going to be put on trivia. And we decided that we kind of wanted like the first, like the person that knew the most to go first. Cause we never wanted that. If, if it was like, I thought it would be like originally, like you would go to the beginning again every time if like you didn't get it, which is kind of when I thought like put the best person up first, because I thought mm -hmm. it would be like a continuous loop of like, well, if you keep getting it wrong, then it's just going to go back to that person and it's just going to have to keep getting cups. So that's what I thought. And you know, Cup stacking, it's it's it is what it is. Like, um, might not have had to pee really bad when I was stacking. <laughs> I had to stack cups, so. <laughs> but uh, that could I, I impact would, your focus a little bit. Yeah, it, it's just it's just a tad. But I think the the moral line wasn't more on cups. It was more of like who had the most survivor knowledge was going to be put on trivia. So. Yeah, I mean, regardless of which side you were on, though, except for Queen Victoria, we yeah. all sucked. There are mistakes made, yeah. We yeah. all sucked, yeah. all right? Let's yeah, just leave that out. We admit it. Now, probably the bigger piece of news to discuss is the fact that we have new tribes. <laughs> we swapped right. tribes a couple days ago. Uh, Mackenzie, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the swap and the new Phil tribe. Yeah, I mean, odd, like it's funny because I was so excited about like who was on the new Phil tribe that I was gonna get to know that I like didn't even notice for the first night that we were in the minority and I was like, yay, like I love all my new friends, like look at them. And then like the next morning I was like, wait a fucking second, like actually just <laughs> kidding. Like this is a really horrible situation that I'm in. Um, but it didn't hit me at first because you know, all three of them were people I had seen on the other side that I've been like, oh, I'm interested in working with you. Like, I'm definitely, I wasn't thinking the same thing about like the people that went over to um, the new Alexa tribe. Like, they're, they're, they all give like strong bro energy. No offense, Austin. You know, I love you. It doesn't have anything to do with you when I talk about the yeah. bros. Um, so, but you know, Bill, Greg, and Victoria don't have broski energy. So I was like, maybe we'll vibe. And so, you know, we'll see. This, this vote's really about numbers, not about personality. So Jim, Mackenzie mentioned that you guys are technically down in the numbers. There are four original Phil members and only three original Alexa members, you being one of them. So what did you do to try to form new bonds and try to get in with people? Because if this is truly a numbers game, uh, the numbers weren't looking too good for you. Yeah, it wasn't until Lauren got sent to exile. So when that happened, things got a little better for us three, I think. But um, but yeah, I went and had my one-on-one -on -one meetings with each each one of them. I made sure I did that. I talked to them before the challenge. And so I didn't want them to think, hey, I'm trying to do something because we lost after the challenge. And and it was pretty good. I mean, I got to know them. Um, you know, I, I, offer some stuff but then it's yeah it just 
wasn't going to happen for me anyway. So you're not feeling too good about the vote tonight? Um, I feel it's going to be out of our hands. That's what I think. Interesting. That's a very uh, cryptic answer to the question, Greg. Um, what do you think about that? I think the cryptic messages we've been getting deserve cryptic answers back. Um, <laughs> but Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> someone said that this is a numbers game, and I do think that that's mostly true. And I think you have to think about where you were in the numbers at every phase of the game. And if you were at the bottom on your original tribe, you have to think that if you regroup with them, you might still be in that same position. So I do think that with the three, three split here between the old Alexa and old Phil, it's very interesting. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it might be out of our hands tonight a little bit, but you never know. Cause there's idols, there's advantages and we may not know where they are. So there's a lot going, there's a lot, that goes into making a decision tonight, I think. Obviously, with the three Phil and three Alexa tribe members here, there is the possibility of a tie vote. And I'm sure you are all very aware of the fact that if we have a tie vote, uh, you guys are going to be drawing rocks. So, Bill, how has that uh, rule kind of loomed over the vote tonight? I think it has loomed a great deal. I think, you know, the three of us are voting together. We have been, had that position from the beginning until now. Um, my understanding is that uh, the three former Alexa tribe mates, all of whom I have loved to get to uh, talk to, and in some cases really get to, to know in depth, um, they're doing the same thing. So absent people pulling toys out of their pockets, um, I think we are all resigned to this going to a wheel. And, you know, hey, Vegas, baby. Probably, you know, more fun to go out on a wheel than on a boat, maybe. We'll see, unless it's me. I think if this game was for a million dollars, which Ian and Morgan feel free to change that rule anytime, <laughs> uh, there might be some different maneuverings happen, but I think we have a love for the game. And uh, you know what, I think, I don't know how the last Tribal Council went. I was there for the first one. This one could be the most one, most exciting one yet. So I think the fans will like it anyway. Uh, I know Ian and I are very excited to see what is about to transpire tonight. Um, does anybody have anything else that they would like to add before we vote. Good luck, everybody. Let's do this. You're all cool as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like Keith May Nelson, the unluckiest the man plan. lose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, with that, it is time to vote. I don't think that I'm going to be the other person in the tie, unfortunately, because they all think that I have an idol. I don't, depressingly. So, Greg. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow, strategizing and hopefully breaking up your relationship with these other people as for the wasps of New England. Uh, I really want to work with this person and I feel the, I feel it's a weird strategy, but I feel like if we go to rocks, this person will end up being safe. So Greg, my vote is for you, my friend. Okay. You insisted on staying with the dark side. This breaks my heart. If we both wind up staying, I hope we can work together. But I vote for Jim. I hope this isn't a $120 mistake because I want to retire early. I am voting for Jim. Um, I think he is the least likely to have an idol played on him. Um, nothing personal. And I think also Mackenzie and Austin um, going to the wheel, they're bigger threats. So that's better for the OG fills. So we'll see. I'll go tally the votes.
if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Greg. Jim. One vote Jim, one vote Greg. Jim. Greg, we're tied again. Two votes Greg, two votes Jim, two votes left. Jim. Last vote. Greg, we're tied. Three votes Greg, three votes Jim, which means we are going to rocks. Going up on the wheel will be Austin, Victoria, Mackenzie, and Bill. Good luck, everyone. Victoria, we got this. Think happy thoughts. Here we go. <laughs> Bill. The graphic's a little inappropriate there. Bill. Bill. The tribe has spoken. You are the third person eliminated from Survivor Exile Island. Nice knowing you, Bill. Peace hey, out, uh, motherfucker. It's, yeah. it's, if you're going to go out, go out big. Lots of cracks and lots of uh, division for a tribe that needs to win on Sunday night. Sadly, we lost a member to a twist of the season of the tie vote to a rock draw. We'll see how that shakes out in the near future. We will see you all on Sunday. Good night. If there's any way I ever wanted to go out, it was on a rock draw. So there's a bucket list item gone. This was amazing fun. I am very much rooting for OG Phil and especially for uh, Victoria and Greg, who are my people who stuck to their words and who will be my friends.